Hi guys, so I realized I've made a couple of videos already, but I haven't really talked about myself, who am I, what am I doing, what is my background, what is my goal with this channel, what am I trying to do, what am I, what's going on in my life in general, and uh, why I do the things that I do. So uh, in this video, I thought I'd get a bit more personal and explain some of those things to you. So hopefully that helps you to make sense of what this channel is about and how it can be of use to you. So starting firstly with my background, I have an education in business and marketing, and I used to work that for a long time in a business which was owned by my family. Now that business got acquired a few years back by a large multinational, and nevertheless, I continued to work for that multinational for a few years. Now, from the sale of our business, I had a decent amount of cash on the side, which at the time I had little idea what to do with. And I've had to learn and to really focus my time and effort into learning about investing, into practicing it, into, you know, losing some money, gaining some money, getting a lot of experience and hands on with the process of investing, with the process of personal finance. And over time, that became a big area of interest to me. And I feel now as it's not only my main job, but also a huge hobby of mine, something that I read about daily, something that I'm interested in that, that always fascinates me. Yeah, so that's how I basically stumbled upon this field of personal finance and investing. It was basically out of need, out of the desire to do more with my money than to just use it and spend it. Basically, I, I wanted to be one of those people that, you know, yes, I was very fortunate. I was very lucky to firstly have such a decent family business, but also to sell it to a large uh, conglomerate. And um, I, I, I did not want to squander that luck. I wanted to be one of those people who you could turn around and say, yeah, he got that money, but then he made it 10 times bigger. He 10 x it, he 100 x it. It's about the skill and the willpower to actually do that. I did not want to be known as one of those people who just, yeah, we got some money, we spent it, it was good, but now we're back at point zero. I wanted to take my good fortune and multiply it by 10, by 100, by however much. And that is my current process. That is my journey currently. That is why I invest and that is why I am interested in investing and why it means so much to me. Now, I'd say I've been doing pretty well with that goal. Over the past few years, I've been extremely, extremely focused on learning about investing, on doing it properly or do on doing it efficiently, on really honing in on my personal goals for my finance, but also for my life, because I feel that personal finances and money are really in line with what you would want from your life in general. So I felt that I need to align what I wanted from my life in terms of the way I want to live and to kind of tailor my investing in a way which matches that. So I realized, and this goes to a big part of investing, which I think is related to mental health and psychology and just self-awareness in general, because I do not believe that you can truly be successful in investing unless you have a large degree of self-awareness. I realized that through my therapy and through all the different kinds of activities that I practice in order to help with, with my self-awareness, the, the meditation, the journaling, the workshops, whatever it might be. I realized that through these things, what matters to me is not money as a means to an end, but more money as an expression of freedom. So for me, money means freedom. And what I mean by freedom is, is what allows me to firstly use my time as I please and spend my time as I like. So to be time wealthy, if you will, to be able to travel, to be able to be independent, to be able to buy anything. Well, not anything, but I'm not really a person who spends an exorbitant amount of money. But when I do want to spend on something, I want to be able to know that I can easily afford that thing. And just just knowing that if I want something, I could possibly find ways to afford it. It's a very powerful feeling that by itself is usually enough. So I've noticed 
that in a few areas where, yes, I want something, but just the mere thought that I can afford it and I can actually have it is enough. I don't need to actually buy it. What I'm trying to do here on this channel is to just, well, follow that journey, firstly, because I feel that some of the things that I'm learning and some of the things that I've already learned are potentially interesting to some of you and could be beneficial to you as well. And I think that it's important for me to share it. A lot of people have this really one dimensional view of money and I feel that there's a lot more to it, especially in the way it relates to the rest of your life, in the way that it relates to your mental health, in the way that it relates to your uh, personal goals which are not money related because let's face it we live in a society where money is a necessity it's a, it's a basic necessity unless you're a hermit somewhere living entirely on your own produce or you know taking care of yourself entirely independently of money which I can respect honestly because I had similar thoughts from time to time you know when I get fed up with everything but unless you're a hermit you need money no matter where you live, if you're in India, if you're in the States, if you're here in Europe, it doesn't matter. It's a it's a basic necessity of life. And I feel that a lot of people do not take the time to educate themselves and to really learn how to use that resource to the best of their abilities and, and really to make it last as much as they can. That's not really their own fault also, because quite honestly, education in schools and in universities does not really teach us a lot about personal finance. But that topic is extremely important and that's what I hope to imprint on some of you and some of the people that might be watching is that I want to help you to think about these things and to help you find your own decisions, to f find your own solutions, find your own, uh, your own way of approaching money. Like I said, money is a fundamental thing in our lives and we if we do not learn how to earn it save it and invest it then we can't really move up to things which are let's say higher or more important like purpose or spirituality or mental health or relationships or whatever because a lot of you know that if you have money problems it really takes over your life and I and I really want people to have the freedom and the opportunity to focus on things which are more important in their life. Yes, money does provide you a lot of opportunity. It can also make you happy, at least temporarily. But there are much more important things that we need to take care of as self-aware, mature people. I want to help people take care of that base level so that once they have that safe and secure and working as, as they want it to be working, then they can focus on the things that are more important to them. Whether that be their purpose, their hobbies, their friends, their, their family, their relationship, whatever it might be, if you don't have to worry about money, if, it, if you know that it's working for you, if you know that it's working as you would want it to work, then you can focus on the more important things in life. Now, I also want to talk about things which are related to personal finance and investing, but also from a mental health point of view, because psychology and in general mental health is a topic that, well, really interests me. And I feel that it is highly, highly related with finances and with the way that we make financial decisions. That is why a lot of people, whatever kinds of billionaires, millionaires, whatever, they will tell you that self-awareness is probably the most important thing. Because if you don't understand your own needs and wants and desires, then you cannot possibly have the right goals, the right mindset, the right intention with money and with finance as well. So I want to encourage people also to find their way of honing in on their self-awareness, but whether that be going to therapy, going to therapy groups, going just journaling at home or meditating or whatever it might be. There are actually plenty of apps which can help you with that as well. These are two very baseline things which can really transform your life if you take care of them well. So your your mental health, your self-awareness, your, your personal well-being 
and your finances, like if you take care of those two things, your life can really look a lot different. And what I hope to do here on this channel is not to help people get rich quick because that is not an, an idea that I strive for. That's not an idea which aligns with my personal values and beliefs. Yes, I want to build wealth. Yes, I want to help other people build wealth, but I want to do it in a sustainable, in a long-term oriented, and in a way which is aligned with people's desires, wants, needs, and goals. Because let's face it, if you just want to have money so you can impress your friends, if you, you want to buy that big house, you want to buy that big Lamborghini, if that's what money means to you, well, I don't want to be a downer, but you're probably not going to get it. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing bad about those things, but that's just a flashy packaging. There's nothing of substance there. What I think really matters is the way that money can enable people to live a happier and more full life. They can enjoy more of the simple things in life, like spending time with their family or with their kids or whatever. That is the truly important aspect of money, which I think a lot of people are missing. And the real wealth is actually how much of your own time can you buy back, meaning how much freedom does it give you? Because there are a lot of people who are extremely wealthy, but they are slaves to their businesses, they are slaves to their investments, they are slaves to their money. And while they have a lot of cash, they're wealthy in the conventional sense, they are actually quite poor in the senses, in the ways that truly matter. Being able to do the things that you want, being able to enjoy life, being able to take a break, being able to, yeah, just, just be the boss of your own time. So yeah, time wealth, at least for me, is one of the most important aspects and why I do personal finance and investing. That's what I wanted to talk about today. That's what I wanted to express. I hope this uh, more personal type of video has been interesting to you. And I, I, I'd appreciate a like and a comment just to let me know that you like this type of content. I personally quite enjoyed making this video and I hope you like it too. Um, but that's it for this week and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.